What's up everyone, it's George from Crypto Potato and today we'll take a look at how to trade on Apollo X. Apollo X is a cryptocurrency derivatives exchange founded by experts with backgrounds in traditional financial institutions, technology companies and other leading crypto exchanges. The name of the exchange has been cleverly crafted by combining the Apollo and the letter X. The former stands for the first successful mission to land a person on the moon while the second starts for a cryptocurrency exchange. The platform aims to deliver a seamless trading experience, a secure environment, while providing high-end order book liquidity to allow its users to trade efficiently with minimal slippage. Registering an account is very easy and it requires no KYC, making the process entirely straightforward. Once you have it done, it's time to deposit some funds. To do so, you need to go to your wallet dashboard and click on deposit. These are the currently available deposit methods. For the purposes of this guide, we have deposited some USDT into our account. After selecting your preferred option, you need to choose the transfer network. Apollo X currently supports both Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum-based USDT deposits, BEP20 and ERC20. We have chosen the BEP20 option, and once this is done, this is what you will see. However, if you deposit for the first time, you need to retrieve your deposit address. By clicking on the blue button that will pop and after that, it will directly display it to you. Once you have received your funds, you need to transfer them to your futures account so you can start trading. Doing so is very easy. You need to go back. You need to click on transfer, select your funding account and send the money to your futures account. Enter the amount you wish and click on confirm. That's it. Now let's see how to actually trade on Apollo X. The overall trading interface is very intuitive and easy to navigate through. This is how it looks like. At the top left corner, you will find a drop down menu that allows you to select the available cryptocurrency trading pairs. At the time of this writing, the exchange supports Solana USDT, Bitcoin USDT, Ethereum USDT, Doge USDT, as well as Cardano USDT and Ripple. Please note that all of these are perpetual contracts, a type of derivatives future contract that allows you to open and close positions without expiration dates. This means that you don't trade the underlying asset itself, but rather a contract that's built to track its price. It's convenient for those who want to speculate on the price of different cryptocurrencies with or without leverage, without having to worry about taking possession of the asset itself. The team also assured us that they expect to add more trading pairs in the next couple of weeks. The interface also features a trading chart, an order book panel, the recent trades, the panel for your currently open positions, as well as a panel for the trading orders. Before explaining how to open and close a position though, as well as the other specifications of the Apollo X exchange, it's very important to know what leverage is. Leverage allows you to open positions that are larger than your current account balance. The exchange lends you the money based on the multiplier you choose to use. Apollo X offers up to 100x leverage on its BTC USDT perpetual contract which means that you can open a position 100 times larger than the funds you have on your account. For example, if you have $100 on your account, you can open a BTC USDT position worth $10,000. This is where you need to be very careful though. While it gives you a possibility to make more money, it's also particularly risky because if the price moves in the opposite direction of your trade by as little as 1%, you will lose the margin you posted or potentially liquidate your entire account if you're using cross margin. This is why it's not advisable to use anything higher than 5x in terms of leverage. This also brings us to our next point, different types of margin specifications on Apollo X. There are two, 
cross margin and isolated margin. With isolated margin, you can manage your risk on individual positions by restricting the amount of margin allocated to each one of them. With cross margin, it means that all cross positions under the same margin asset share the same cross margin balance. In the event of liquidation, if you use isolated margin, you will only lose the margin you posted for this specific position. However, if you use cross margin, you will lose the margin in your account and that for other cross positions that you have currently open. Now that you're aware of what leverage is and how to use it, let's see how to open and close a position on Apollo X. The exchange supports a few different order types that you can choose from depending on strategy and your purpose of trading. These include the simple market order, which is the basic type of trading order that gets filled right away at the best price currently available on the market. Market orders typically require liquidity to be filled and it's executed based on the limit order that were previously placed in the order book. In this example, we have selected the basic market order worth 0.01 BTC. Since we're using a 5x leverage, it will only cost us $84 to open a position worth approximately $400. This will open your position as soon as you hit one of these buttons. The next order type is the limit order. It allows you to place an order at a specific price or a more favorable price. There is no guarantee, however, that your order will be filled and this is something that you need to keep in mind. In this example, we have selected a limit order with a 5x leverage once again. This time, we want to open a 0.01 Bitcoin position as soon as the price retraces down to $40,000. As soon as you hit the open long or open short position, this will put your order in the order book and if the price falls down to this point, it will get filled. Next is the stop market order. It's a stop order that once it gets triggered, the system will send out a market order at the current market price. This is also used to set stop losses or take profits. There's also a trailing stop it allows you to follow a strategy where traders preset an order to be executed when the market goes through a significant correction or a callback. Once the latest market price reaches the highest or alternatively the lowest price you set on a trading stop order, it will be triggered and sent at the market price. This is an order for more advanced traders. You also have stop limit orders that is set to execute during a specific time range. It's executed at a specified stop price once the asset reaches that price. Once the stop price is reached, the asset will be either bought or sold at the selected stop price or at a more favorable price. This is used to set the so-called stop loss or take profit once again. Now let's see how to actually open a position. For the sake of this guide, we will open a simple market order using the BTC USDT perpetual contract. To do so, you need to input the amount of Bitcoin that you want to buy. Let's say 0.01 BTC. Choose your preferred leverage as well as the type of leverage that you want. For this guide, we use cross leverage. And then hit the open long or open short depending on which position you're betting the market to go to. We are going to go long meaning that we will make money if the price of Bitcoin goes up. As soon as you hit open long, your position will be displayed right here in this section. This is where you can also track the different metrics of your positions, including the entry price, the size, the current market price, your liquidation price. Keep in mind that the liquidation price is the price which if reached will see your entire position liquidated. This is your margin ratio as well as the margin that you're currently using, your PL, and this is where you close the position. So if you want to close the position, you can choose a limit price or you can close it directly by hitting the market button right here. That's pretty much everything you need to know about opening and closing positions on Apollo X. Now, it's also worth noting that Apollo X supports the so-called hedge mode. 
By default, the settings of your account are in a one-way mode, which means that one contract can only hold positions in one direction. For example, you can only open BTC longs or BTC shorts, but you can open both at the same time. With hedge mode, however, you can hold positions in both long and short directions at the same time and hedge positions in different directions under the same contract. This is once again something that more advanced traders use at, and they can use it to protect their downside. To activate it, you need to click on this button right here, click on preferences, position mode and select the hedge mode here. Okay, now let's talk about the fees on Apple OX. Right off the bat, it's worth noting that all the deposits are free of charge, but there are standard network fees associated with the withdrawals. At the time of this recording, users are also only able to withdraw USDT, for all other supported cryptocurrencies are suspended according to the official website. The team, however, told us that they will roll out support for withdrawing other cryptocurrencies as soon as there is demand for it. An important thing to consider when trading derivatives is the funding rate. Apple OX shows the real-time funding rate as well as the funding rate's history, so the traders can take into consideration when opening positions. Apart from that, the exchange charges a 0% maker fee and a 0.08% taker fee. The next thing to consider is the liquidation insurance fund. This is another interesting feature that the exchange brings forward to offer some sort of liquidation protection for its users. The liquidation insurance fund aims to cover losses that are incurred by traders who go bankrupt. Fees that are paid by non-bankrupt traders are injected into this fund and used for this purpose. The main purpose of it is to reduce counterparty liquidations. If you get your position closed by a force and you have no funds left in your account, or if the position can't be closed through a forced liquidation, Apple OX will take control of the remaining positions on your account. If this happens, Apple OX will use the fund to reverse the liquidation. If there is not enough money in the fund to take over the remaining positions of someone who is going through liquidation, a counterparty liquidation will take place. Of course, there are additional considerations to take in mind and more information is available on the website. Now, let's talk about security and customer support. Is it safe to trade on Apple OX? Well, there is no information online showing that the exchange has gone through any kind of exploit or has had any issues for that matter. Of course, as it is with any other cryptocurrency exchange, you need to know that you're not in control of your funds. There is a popular saying in crypto, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. With this in mind, it's highly advisable to only keep an amount that you need for your trading purposes while sending the rest to a cold wallet. As mentioned though, this is not only true for Apple OX, but for any centralized exchange out there. The exchange has taken a lot of steps to enhance the security on the platform, including a two-factor authentication, an SMS authentication, as well as additional security steps when a new device or a new IP address attempts to log in. The team also revealed that the tokens are stored in cold wallets for increased protection. Now, about the customer support. Contacting the customer support on Apple OX is rather easy and straightforward. It can happen through a few different channels depending on your own preferences. First, it's possible to open a ticket directly through the help center and Apple OX assured us that they have a 24 seven customer support. In addition, there's also a Telegram group where users can discuss their experience on the platform and receive assistance from team members and admins. However, it's particularly important to stay vigilant when it comes to Telegram and make sure that the person you're chatting to actually belongs to the team. Apple OX has prepared a comprehensive set of guides where users can familiarize themselves with various intricacies and processes on the platform. This is particularly helpful and it's encouraged to take a look at them and the FAQ section before contacting the support team. Additionally, you can also follow their official Twitter profile for updates. To wrap it up, we'd like to go through the pros and cons of Apple OX because as with every other cryptocurrency exchange, there are some benefits and some downsides. In terms of pros, Apple OX offers a very intuitive trading interface, sufficient order types, 
as well as a protective liquidation insurance fund. When it comes to downsides, the trading pairs are still a bit limited and the traded volume is lower compared to larger exchanges. In conclusion, the platform is very easy to use and it delivers sufficient trading tools for comprehensive and efficient experience, regardless of whether you're a novice or seasoned veteran. And with this, we're wrapping up the video. Thank you for watching and we hope it was a bit helpful.